Most of the school-going students are aware of Pythagorean theorem as it is taught universally across all high schools and colleges throughout the world. It is a well-known fact that this geometrical theorem was first discovered by Pythagoras around 500 BCE. But wait, is this really true? No personal writing of Pythagoras exists today. What we know of him is through writing of his followers like Porphyria and Diocese's Laertius centuries later. Moreover, this geometrical formula existed well before Pythagoras and was used by Indians, Babylonians, and Sumerians frequently. The earliest known mention of Pythagoras in Pythagorean theorem appears 500 years later in the writing of Cicero and Plutarch. The Babylonians, Sumerian, and Egyptians were known to have Pythagorean triplets, like 3, 4, 5, and, and 5, 12, 13 for ages. But the real written formula for this theorem was first introduced by Bodhyayan and Solba Sutra in 9th century BCE, which predates Pythagoras by more than three centuries. This text is actually an ancient Indian manual for masons to create precise shapes of fire altars. Solf means rope and sutra means formula. Basically, Solf Sutra tells the formulas to use rope to create geometrical structures. This is the shloka in Bodhyayan Solf Sutra. This clearly states that the rope stretched along the diagonal of a rectangle makes an area which the horizontal and vertical sides makes together. This is exactly what Pythagoras said three centuries later. Both Bodhyayan and Pythagoras stated the theorem, and proof came much later. Now the question is why it is called Pythagoras' theorem but not Bodhyayan theorem. In Solv Sutra, Bodhyayan also calculated the value of pi. He also showed how to calculate square root of two. He also demonstrates how to construct a square equal in area to a circle. His work, Solv Sutra, is the first text of geometry. But why has it gone unrecognized? Actually, Western academia received the basic mathematical knowledge, not directly from Indian scholars, but via Greek and Arabian scholars. So they attributed it to them, but in reality, Oldest knowledge of mathematics is uncovering to be Indian. With the advent of internet, probably in coming future ancient Indian scholars will get the credit which they truly deserve.